A group of flesh eaters is on the prowl. This is Syntarsis. At 10 feet from head to tail, they're about the same size as their forerunners in the Triassic. But these guys aren't chasing bugs. They're stalking dinosaurs. Ankisaurus is a plant eater. Although it walks on all fours, it spends most of its time on its hind legs browsing in the trees. A claw on its thumb is its only protection. and Ankisaurus may look similar now. But in the future, they'll go their separate ways. Ankisaurus will evolve into sauropods, the largest plant eaters of all time. Its leaf-shaped teeth are well suited for plucking vegetation. Its neck is long for reaching into trees, and the claw on its foot is ideal for digging are pulling down branches. Ankisaurus is clearly outclassed. Only one thing intimidates a predator, a bigger one. Dilophosaurus towers over its competitors and its prey. This is no ordinary predator. It's a triple threat. It can slash, bite, and run. soon when there's a hungry mouth to feed. But there's no time to relax when a stranger is sneaking around. Ankisaurus is too large for one sitting. The dinosaurs will eat their fill. Then they'll be back. of the forest are simple. Kill or be killed. Or steal.
Syntarsis may be a hunter, but it's also an opportunist. Ironically, Dilophosaurus and Syntarsis are family. They're both ceratosaurs. But you'd never know it. Dilophosaurus is still a primitive dinosaur. In the future, carnivores will have three fingers instead of four. Their heads will grow larger, their bodies more massive, and the crest will disappear. Dilophosaurus may be top dog for now, but when predators get bigger, so does the prey. The descendants of Ankysaurus have nowhere to go but up. <laughs>